Hey guys, welcome back to Red Devil TV. Frankie De Jong, Anthony, Timba, Henderson. Guys, all right, l let's just talk about what's the main, main focus at the moment. And it's getting this deal done with Frankie De Jong, okay, at Manchester United. And reports have come out within the last couple of days that Frankie De Jong does not want to leave Barcelona. And look, as soon as I heard that, I thought, let him stay. He wants Champions League football. Fabrizio Romano came out and he said, he wants Champions League football. He doesn't want to leave Barcelona Soon as I heard that, I thought, you know what, let him be. There's no point signing a player who doesn't want to be at the club. We're not going to have Euro um, Champions League football. We might not even have Europa League football if we bottle a win against Crystal Palace. And you think Frankie Young will, will want to come to Manchester United. Listen, no point signing a player who doesn't want to be there. Look at the other options. And this is the thing, we're also linked to, <coughs> we're also linked to Timba, um, Anthony. For me, you know, look, Ajax want, was it 35 million? For Timber and and I think to myself, why are we just aiming for Dutch league players? Like for me, there's no point in doing this. We've seen players like Memphis Depay. We've seen, I mean, look, look at Van der Beek. He's coming to Manchester United under Rolly. He wasn't played under Ralphie. He wasn't played because he's obviously gone on loan. There's no point signing a player from the Dutch league who might not work out. And it's not even that. It's not even just that. It's not even that, that they might not work out. Forget the history of it. Just look at. We've been, we've been linked to so many other players. Ruben Neves, obviously Kamara was mentioned in January. There's still a possibility to get Kamara. Um, Darwin Nunes. There's still players that we should be aiming to get that we can possibly get. Look, there's no point just because he was Ajax manager and, you know, Frank De Jong obviously was an ex-Ajax player. There's no point just going for these players who, who weren't playing in the Dutch league. It doesn't make any sense. Look at the players we'll be linked with. For me, Calvin Phillips, again, another player we'll be linked to a lot. Just go for the players who are going to be the cheaper options, but are good players who will be a massive upgrade to, to the position that we need. Ruben Evers and Calvin Phillips. I'll be, I'll be glad with that in the midfield. In the midfield too. I'll be glad with that. Look, if De Jong <coughs> doesn't want to come, he doesn't want to come. So for me, I think it's a big mistake to just go for these players who are in the Dutch league. I think it's a massive mistake, um, especially when one of them doesn't want to come to Manchester United. Were well, you going to beg him to come? And then he comes in, then he, then he doesn't perform. And then you already know what happened. So for me, big mistake to go for too many plays in the Dutch league. And, and that's it. Frankie De, Frankie De Jong doesn't want to come. He doesn't want to come. For me, that deal, look, that, that's already gone from maybe 95% happening, like, that, like Romero said, to probably, what, 30, 20% maybe. Um, for me, look, there are players who are leaving their clubs. Ruben Evers is leaving at the end of the season. Darwin Nunes is going to leave. Um, we can't just be constantly getting at this deal with Frankie De Jong for the next couple of weeks. And then next thing you know, it's July and then we're still trying to get him. And then Ruben Neves has left and then Calvin Phillips has maybe left and then Darwin Nunes is, is, is left. I still think Darwin Nunes is an expensive deal. That's going to be hard to, to get done. But we, we need players, as much players as we can and we need to sell as many players as we can. And speaking of selling players, Henderson, apparently, you know, Newcastle are um, looking to sign him for 40 million. Um, so that's a good one. I think Henderson that was going to go. If it wasn't in, in January, it was going to be in the summer. He's barely played. What he played in the FA Cup, I think it was, or was it the Carabao Cup? Can't even remember now. This is the thing. Um, so for me, Henderson is going to go. I think Bai is going to go. I think Lingard's obviously going to go. Uh, Pogba is, is he has apparently has come out reports again today saying that Pogba has made his decision that he will leave. He's been um, his re his representatives have had uh, meetings with Juventus. And look, if he goes back to Juventus, I think, I think again, I think the Italian league is a good league for him. Uh, Juve have had a poor season. So I think Pogba will bring, bring some light into their midfield. So that, that would be an interesting one to see what happens there. So, um, but then again, Pogba's going on a free. So it, we have to see what happens. But I think players like Lingard, Bailly, um, Phil Jones, uh, you know, Ling, we, we have to see what happens there. But guys, I'm excited. Look, obviously there, there was the interview with Ten Hag. He, he, I mean, that chant, that Manchester United chant was, was uh, what was that? I, I, that chant was, was terrible. But you could see, you know, I think, I think the things with Ten Hag, He's excited to come in. He's just won the league with Ajax. You would expect him to get some time off, but he said, you know what, there's, there's work to be done here. And probably, I think we're going to be one of the teams in the league who essentially is going to have a lot of work done. A lot, a lot of work done. I think we're in a position where um, a lot of players are going to go. We can't forget even about Mata and Matic, and we're going to bring in a lot of players. And this is the thing, this is why I'm nervous, because I don't want us to just keep, look, this, the young story was bright. Yes, it was good uh, a couple of days ago, a week ago. But it's now getting to a point where if we're hearing that he doesn't want to leave and he wants Champions League football, we're not, we're not the, the team for that at the moment because there's even a chance we might even get Champions League next season. So I think 
If Frankie de Jong is willing to take a year out, focus on the rebuild and then come to Manchester United. But if you don't want to do that, then don't do that. I think we're in a position where, we're, where next season is going to be a season where we can't expect much. Ronaldo's talking about winning leagues and, um, and, and winning trophies next season in his interview. But if I'm Ronaldo, I'm probably, probably focusing more on the World Cup, like I mentioned in my previous video. So... Um, we need to see what happens, but there was even talks of players starting fights on, on the training ground. I think there's a this season there's been there's been a mess at Manchester United. There's been a big mess, and even that that leak about Lingard telling Skulls that dressing rooms are is a joke. So for me, I think right now it's it's focusing on getting players who want to play for the club. I'm going to put their heart on their sleeve, and that's it. And 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 you know what? It's it's, it's terrible that we even have to go that low. We have to go that low that it's appreciated now for you to put in some effort. Like it's a shambles. It's an absolute shambles, and this is why some players will shine under Ten Hag because some of them do want to play for this club. And you know, this is the way football has gone now. Football is too. I mean, look at the transfer market now. I mean, look how much it costs to buy players. Declan Rice is probably going to go for 100 mil this summer. Again, should we go for Declan Rice as another player we're linked to? I don't know if he's going to want to come. I think he wants Champions League football, and since he's going to cost a lot of money, he's probably going to go to a Champions League club, and that's it. So. Guys, let's see what happens. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know what you think about this. Uh, you know these players who were linked to. I mean, Anthony, look, Anthony, Tim, are great players. I, look, I think Tim. Look, I think we need a centre back anyway. We need a striker. Well, look, the things with, with Anthony, he will play. You can, you can play him anywhere in the front three. I think. I think he will do very well. But is he the right balance with Sancho? Um, I'm not so sure. Um, so we need to see what happens, but guys. Let me know what you think. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.